India today, there's a lot of anti-China sentiment. I'm acutely aware of that. But at the same time, uh, when it comes to thinking geopolitically, the biggest mistake you can make in geopolitics is to become emotional. You know, if you even look at your traditional thinkers, Cotillia and all that, any geopolitical thinker must be cunning and shrewd and work out their own long-term interests. And frankly, India today is in an unprecedented geopolitical sweet spot. Sweet spot. It's being courted by everybody. Tell me, name me one other country that is being courted by everybody. India is. By the United States, by Europe, by Russia, and as you know, when Wang Yi came recently, by China and by many countries in the world. So this, this India, therefore, has an unprecedented geopolitical opportunity today. And it's got to be very cunning and take advantage of it. And the best way to be cunning and to take advantage of it is to ensure you maintain good relations with everybody. Mm -hmm. And so nobody, everybody thinks, okay, I have an opportunity uh, with India. And of course, the hardest thing to do would be, of course, with, with, with China. But at the end of the day, as you know, going as far back as Zhou Enlai and Jawaharlal Nehru, and Deng Xiaoping and Rajiv Gandhi, Chinese leaders had proposed, even 50, 60 years ago, at the end of the day, the border settlement will depend more or less on the line of control you have today. There'll be no major changes. So if in a sense, you already have a big fundamental argument, agreement, sorry, a big fundamental agreement that the final settlement, maybe minuscule changes here and there, will be more or less what the current situation is. So if you can reach an agreement on that broad principle, which the Chinese have proposed so long ago, ah. then, then, you, then you immediately remove the biggest uh, thorn in, in, in Sino-Indian relationship. And for both countries at the end of the day, you know, they're such big countries geographically that a few hundred square kilometers is not going to determine the future of China, of India.